welcome to another vlog. Welcome to our messy kitchen. So I'm making a recipe I've never made. It's apple cider donut bunt cake. We're making it. We've got some people coming over tonight for like a scary movie night. And so Tyler made a soup last night. I made this. I'm going to make some sausage balls. And they're all bringing some things too. And then meanwhile, they are carving a pumpkin. And Felicity is napping. Although I was like, man, it sounds like she's playing in her crib. She should be napping. Hopefully she falls asleep. soon. I ran a half marathon. <clears throat> oh, and also Tyler ran a half marathon. <laughs> you should be proud of yourself, dude, because I don't know how you did it. You did not properly train this. I used to tell myself I have to run 20 miles, and then 13 doesn't seem so bad. Anyway, so that's what's going on in our neck of the woods. So it's looking moist. It has apple cider and uh, apple sauce in it as well. I'm so curious. Here's another thing I've never used, the baking like flour spray. <laughs> They're digging into the pumpkin over there. Ooh. I am so excited to bake these. I love pumpkin seeds so much. We're also watching Halloween episodes of The Office. Obviously. 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 <laughs> All right, let's try this. Oh my gosh. I don't know like how thorough I need to be. I feel like I should be kind of thorough, right? Okay. That should be good. Interesting. Painting stuff too. That's cool. I bought these years ago. I can't believe I found them, honestly. That looks awesome, Genevieve. So I just finished showering. Just kind of straighten my hair. I don't straighten my hair often. Um, I don't know, I just felt like it. I was just talking about this on my Instagram story, but I wanted to mention it here. Mixing the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Blush with like Elf Halo Glow. I had done that. I learned it from one of you guys. And then I kind of, I haven't done it in a while, I guess is my point. But every time I do it, I'm like, it is so gorgeous. I feel like it just catches the light so beautifully and it really tones down the pigment in it and lightens it a bit. Mm, I just love it. I use that Real Techniques brush that I love for like cream blush to tap it on and I feel like that helped a lot too. But yeah, I, I really, really like this look. This is the brush I am talking about. I love this one. I also want to thank today's video sponsor, which is Thrive Market. We'll be talking about that later on in the video. So we have a couple more hours. Felicity has did end up falling asleep. So um, when she finally wakes up, we're pretty good. I still need to make the sausage balls, which I'll show you what I mean when I say sausage balls. <laughs> They're so good. They're definitely something we make at least once, maybe twice a year for various things. We got some charcuterie from Costco. And then, like I said, everyone's kind of bringing a heavy, heavy appetizer, if you will. So we're gonna have plenty to eat. And I'm just excited. We're watching a scary movie. And this time we're gonna watch Blair Witch Project because I couldn't tell you the last time I'd seen it. And like, as a group, we were trying to find a video that most of us hadn't seen, etc. So that's the one we landed on. I'm so excited. Tyler is gonna set up his, like we have like a blow up screen that we can put outside. However, it's supposed to rain in a few hours. So we're like, so we're kind of waiting to set it up to see like if the rain gets pushed back, maybe we'll go ahead and do it. If not, we can of course do it in our basement, but we were excited to do it outside and the weather was not too cold or anything. So that's a bummer, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. Okay, here's the before and here's the after. Good morning. So yesterday, these are dipped powder nails and it's almost time to go back to the nail salon, but my pointer finger one came off and I happened to this morning have this, um, oh, oh gosh, hold on. It's getting old. So some of it like had crusted and was like getting all over my hands. Anyway, this Essie color in swing of things. That's what I just put on my pointer finger and it is not bad. I mean, it's not a perfect match, but it is not too far off. I actually think I like this color better than the one I have on. So I don't know if this is still available, but that was a win. And it really is a pretty color. I feel like heading into November too, that would be really, really pretty. Okay, so we are about to head to church and then we have a couple of hours. We were supposed to go a couple days ago to our like zoo Halloween thing they call Zoo Boo, which I've seen so many social posts about. Like everyone zoo does some version of zoo boo or boo at the zoo. I'm like, it's too good of word play to not call it that, you know? Anyway, the kids wear their costumes and they can trick or treat and of course see the animals. So we're now gonna try to do it today, but of course now it's a weather issue. Like it's supposed to rain. It's the temperature just absolutely dropped last night overnight. So 
we will see if it ends up happening. Hopefully it will, even if we're just there for like an hour or two, I feel like the kids will have fun. It'll be nice. We love going and we haven't gone in a couple years. So that is the plan. I also have heaps and heaps of laundry to do. If you recall, I was trying to do laundry every day, like that kind of system that people swear by. That worked actually pretty well for a few weeks and then we traveled and then it was just like, once you're off of that, it's really hard to get back on because when you have a ton of laundry and it all needs to get done, like you just need to get it all done. So today is the day where we just need to get it all <laughs> done. I am hoping to get back on that schedule though, because I do think it helped a bit. Anywho, that's the plan. I'm going to go grab the girls and we, we just need to get out of here. Holy moly, babe. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Incredible. Can I see? Yeah. Isn't that amazing, Genevieve? Daddy has become I, Indiana Jones. I look like a park ranger unless I have the whip, the jacket, and the hat. That's right. Yeah, you really, you could do a lot of costumes with that. I know. Doesn't daddy look handsome? Aww. Uh, I'm Sporty Spice. <laughs> There's Alice. Um, we've got, uh, well here, let me put her down. We've also got Smurfette over here. Since it's raining, they decided to like have all the trick or treating under this pavilion, which is just nice. Yeah. Whoa! Ooh. <laughs> um, so it is Monday. Last night, we had so much fun at the zoo. We ended up going to our friend Ben and Emily's house afterwards and ordered Chinese, and it was awesome. And then we were all so tired, so everyone happily went home and got, went to bed. My point in saying that is, I was also really tired. We get home, get the girls in bed. And I'm reading and I finished the book I was reading, which was um, How to Break Up With Your Phone. I do really like, I think it was good for me to read. It's really tricky with social media being a part of my job. And so my phone, and like I'm literally vlogging on my phone right now. But I do think there were some really valuable things in it. That's not what I'm wanting to talk about, clearly. Then I was like, I really want to read Britney Spears' memoir. Bought it. I never, I always just use Libby. Like it is so rare for me to actually buy a book. So I like for Kindle. So I bought it for Kindle, like 16 bucks, read it in one sitting. <laughs> the whole book. I was up till like one. It was wildly interesting. I haven't looked deeply into this. It definitely felt like she wrote it, meaning like, I don't think there was a ghost writer, like someone obviously there was an editor for sure, but it definitely felt like she wrote it. And I don't mean that as a slight to her, but you know, like there's just certain ways you're used to reading memoirs and they all have a similar flow and this definitely felt a little different, but it is wild what that woman has gone through and just hearing her side of the story when a lot of what we have heard in the past, you know, let's say 20 years through media has been different. And so it it was just interesting. I think if you have any interest in Britney Spears, you would like it. If you don't, I mean, I don't think you need to read it. Like I gave Tyler the Cliff's Notes version this morning. <laughs> Literally the second he woke up, I was like, okay, so I want to tell you about, and I just told him everything. I would definitely recommend it if you grew up listening to Britney Spears and like you've always been curious, read it. That's all. But that being said, I think I would rate it like three and a half stars. Cause I, again, I don't think it was super well written, but kudos to Brittany if she was just the one that wrote it with no ghostwriter, because I feel like that would be hard to do. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there was a ghostwriter and I am totally missing the mark, but yeah, I don't think it was like best book in the world, but fascinating if you're interested. So I'm about to go into the workspace and I'm bringing some leftovers. Um, Benita brought us some vegetable soup over. So I'm bringing that. I had some the other day for lunch and it was really good our Chinese leftovers, and then some of that lemon orzo stuff I talked about, I think, in the last vlog that is so good and so easy. I can link the recipe again. Super easy recipe, and the leftovers are really good. Bringing all of those so that we kind of have some lunches for the next few days over there, I figure that makes more sense than bringing something every day since we have a fridge there, obviously. So Tyler wanted a Disney sweatshirt because we're filming our podcast today, and then I've got my bag here from Madewell. I need to put my coffee in a to-go mug and we are out of here. Side note, I think I talked about a lip combo recently, maybe in this vlog, maybe it's in a previous one, but this is another lip combo I'm really liking. It's the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Liner in Nude Honey and then the Milk Odyssey Gloss in Work Trip. Cause I feel like the lip liner is a little bit deeper and I just kind of colored in the lips with it and then put this, I just love the gloss 
formula. It's so comfy. What do you think? Very fall. So good. <laughs> What? I don't know. I'm just awkwardly standing <laughs> just, over here. Just well, you're like slow <laughs> walked into the frame. Also, we are, Tyler is convincing me for the sake of our vlogs to perhaps buy a new camera. And so, it is totally different than anything I've ever used because it's yeah. not like a traditional. It's the DJI Osmo Mini 3. It just came out and people are like freaking out about it. It looks pretty it cool. Is. We were watching some YouTube videos I'd and I was like. Like, cause the, it's like the one you probably seen people like walk around with it. It's got a real tiny little camera on it. And like, it's just a little like gimbal looking thing, like but they just came out with an upgraded one. And like, people are like, like I'm getting rid of all my other cameras. Cause it's, so well, cool. it's so smooth and, and listen, it looks pretty cool. Well, we got might happen. Out. It's that's, true. That's 30 days of vlogs. That might be, might, might be worth it. it. So we'll see. We'll see. But uh, I want to watch a few more videos cause he was going to buy it for himself. I just thought I saw Pinocchio walk by. I'm like, I didn't bring Pinocchio, <laughs> did you? Like, what? Can you find us? Homeward oh. Bound style. <laughs> anyway, that's the haps. We'll see. We'll see. So we're about to go to film our pod. Well, go here. We're going to go film our podcast. We took Halloween week off. So, well, by the time you're seeing this, the new episode of the podcast is probably up. Um, which, by the way, we have a Disney podcast. If you did not know, if you're into Disney, you will like it. If you are not, you might like it. <laughs> It's just definitely Disney. Yeah, um, but today's episode's gonna be fun because we're talking about hot takes, Disney hot takes. And so we're both trying to think of ours. And then you guys submitted a bunch on our podcast Instagram, which is Disney Bill Podcast. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to read them. I read a few and I was like, okay, these are crazy. Yeah, I, I haven't read any of them yet. I'm really excited. Oh, get ready. <laughs> okay, we filmed the podcast. All went well. I don't remember if I showed this. I might have in a previous vlog, but I forgot about it until this very minute. Our. Um, like financial accountant people set us these and then <laughs> there's one that says Tyler's too and it makes me so happy so I think I really am gonna put it on the door to my little office upstairs it's amazing Mr. Man hi handsome yes you after the zoo last night the girls costumes were an absolute mess so I'm currently washing them separately side note i'm trying a new stain treater it's like miss messy mouths or something i found it on amazon i'll link it below and it is working really really well it got all the stains that the girls had from like well genevieve had from chocolate they both had like mac and cheese when we were at our friend's house because actually felicity ate a good amount of the chinese and she was into the crab rangoon which yum um but genevieve was eating mac and cheese and got that all over her Smurfette costume. So that all came clean, which is good. So I'm trying to get those washed since tomorrow is Halloween and we're gonna be trick or treating. They can also wear their costume at school. They have like a little costume parade. So i um, gonna pack that. She's not gonna be blue for school though. But by the way, the blue paint came off really easily with a makeup wipe. I was so pleasantly surprised. Like, I mean, it wiped right off. So on real Halloween tomorrow, she wants the blue to be, I just did her face. She wants it to be down the neck, on the hand. So we'll see, <laughs> we'll see. Well, in the meantime, sweet buddy boy wants some lovin's, huh? Mm-hmm. Look at these long ears. Look at those long ears. Mm-hmm. Side note, I'm about to take Pinocchio on a quick little walk. This is still the greatest like mid weather jacket. Like if you're between, I would say, 40 degrees, no, like 35 degrees Fahrenheit and like 55. This is the jacket. It's from Uniqlo. It's not wildly expensive. Like I feel like it's a little more expensive than what you pay at like Target for something. But there's something about the weight of this. I have washed this. I've had this for years. I've washed it. It washes and dries perfectly well. They have different colors. There's a hood. There's pockets. But it folds down to be like teeny tiny. So like if you were packing, I just, I feel like every year I have to give this thing a shout out because it is the greatest coat. Tyler has a similar one from Uniqlo. So good. So I can link it below if you're curious, but yeah, I still recommend it year after year. Probably the best jacket slash coat, really, coat I've ever bought. <laughs> now that being said, I do have a heavier winter coat, obviously for colder than that, but throughout the course of a year, I wear this more often than anything. You know what I mean? amazed I just had my hair back in like a little bun and everyone small take it out and it like actually has like a nice look to it and then there are other times I take it out and it looks like a bird's nest so there's just no telling no predicting it is officially espresso o'clock 
It is, I just got back from the workspace. I'm getting some filming done here, a little bit more done before I go get uh, Felicity. And I am so tired and can't imagine why. It's certainly not because I was up all night reading Brittany's book. <laughs> anyway, as I mentioned earlier in the video, this portion of the video is kindly sponsored by Thrive Market. Thank you so much for continuing to support me and my channel here. Um, we have been paying customers of Thrive Market for years now. We pay for our annual membership. So Thrive Market is an online membership-based grocery store and marketplace. They have not only food items, but they have beauty items, pet care, baby and kid stuff, bath and body, home stuff. They have such a selection. And if you are eating a certain way, whether you're looking for organic items or maybe you're looking for gluten-free, non-GMO, paleo, any of those kinds of things, you can filter it really easily. And their selection is incredible, especially when you're comparing it to in-store options that you may have around you. I found that Thrive Market selection is like easily, <laughs> I was gonna say five times. I feel like in some cases it's easily 10, 15 times the selection I would have just at a regular store. So I wanna share with you guys what we got this time. So we get a lot of our <laughs> snacking favorites. And for this one, I was really looking for things to have at work that we can snack on. So one of the first things I added to the cart was the late July jalapeno lime chips. These are my favorite chips, point blank period. They're so good. Tyler loves them too. They're not too spicy. So like if you're not into that, but they're like a Dorito. They're so good. Uh, for the kids though, here, I got them some Pirate's Booty. They all love this. I like them too. I don't think Tyler likes this. I feel like he's had it. He's like, eh, I do though. But yeah, the kids will kill some of that like after school or after daycare, you know? And I also got them some of these Annie's pouches. We typically will just buy the box of Annie's bunnies or whatever, but in this case, it's sometimes nice to have little bags. So when we're just like leaving the house quickly and we just need a snack for them, it's nice to be able to just grab a prepackaged bag. Same with this. This is the best deal I can find on pouches. Like if you buy packets, pouches, whatever you call them, I call them packets and everyone giggles. So like, what are you talking about? <laughs> anyway, these are one of our favorites and both of the girls like them. They're the Little Brainiac Organics Brain Squeezies. They have fruit and veggie in all of them, which is awesome. Okay, this is one of my favorite oatmeals of all time and I've gotten a lot of you guys onto it and you love it as well but it is really hard to find so this is the nature's path organic instant oatmeal I like the apple cinnamon I like the maple one or whatever it's called I, I don't think I've had a flavor I don't like but um Felicity will eat this too so she and I like the last box we had I think she and I together killed the whole box but it is so good it tastes more like homemade oatmeal it's closer than any other instant oatmeal I've tried. So highly recommend. They also have a gluten-free version of this that's pretty good too. So another reason we really like Thrive Market is we always save money. On this order alone, I'll pop on the screen, we saved like over 60, 60, 60, over $60. So there are two different membership models. There is the monthly membership model, which is $12 a month. And then the annual one breaks down to $5 a month. That's the one we've done for years. Again, you easily, easily make that money back. And what's cool is they have a money back guarantee where if you don't, they will reimburse you the difference, which I'm telling you, you will. <laughs> and then some, but I just think that's cool. So continuing on with what I got, we got the organic applesauce strawberry that Thrive Market sells. They're the little pouches. Uh, it has probiotics in it too, which I thought was cool. But we were really stocking up because we are going through an applesauce phase, especially with Felicity. So this is just the original. Also that recipe I made the other day with um, the apple cider donut cake called for applesauce. So I actually used some pouches because I didn't have like any other version and the pouches were just fine. <laughs> this is one of our favorite brands of granola for like our yogurt. This is the Purely Elizabeth. This one I just picked out a random flavor. They had a lot of different ones. This is the vanilla almond butter keto granola. I just figured I'd give it a whirl. More Pirate's Booty grown-up pouches, the Mama Chia Squeeze, and then we also got the Noka ones. We both love both of these. Those will probably go to work with us as well, both of those boxes. And I know this is for work. I love these with coffee in the morning, the Nature's Bakery Gluten-Free Fig Bar. I don't know if they're all gluten-free or not. I don't know that I even meant to get that, but um, these are just so, so good, like I said, with black coffee because they're sweet. They're they're just, and they're girthier than like a traditional Nutri-Grain bar. 
They're really good. Tyler likes them too. Tyler requested pumpkin seeds, which is funny because we just ended up baking pumpkin seeds the other day from our carved pumpkin. But I got some of those. I got some doggy treats for Mr. Pinocchio. These are the I and Love and You. Super smarty hearties. He seems to like these. And we just got this new ball where you can roll treats up into it and he is gonna be really excited and those should be perfect for that. Also got some maple syrup that we were totally out of. This is the organic dark maple syrup, 100% pure Vermont. I'm sure my Canadian friends are thrilled. <laughs> Again for work, we got some more of our beloved chomps. Beef sticks, these are just one of our favorite snacks. We are almost through our entire drawer of chomps. So I might need to restock here too, but got the, I think our, our two favorite are the jalapeno flavor and the original. If I had to pick, I would go original. I feel like I've changed my mind over and over again, but right now I'm really into the regular. And then I got some more of the poppy sodas. These are the prebiotic sodas. The Doc Pop is the best one. It is the best one, period. It tastes so similar to Dr. Pepper. Obviously it's not Dr. Pepper, but I've tried a lot of these. This is the best one. So I was excited to have more of those. So another thing we love about Thrive Market is that orders over $49 ship for free. So we never pay for shipping because we just wait until we hit that threshold. Another thing we just really like is, you know, you get it shipped to your house. And I feel like, especially with the weather getting colder now where we live, sometimes you just don't want to leave the house. And it's so nice to be able to get this just delivered to your door. You just beep, up, boop, add it to your car on your phone or your computer. And it's easy, it's convenient, it's just, it's nice. <laughs> Especially if you got like kids running around and you're like, I don't even know how I'm gonna get to the grocery store today. <laughs> yeah, we just love it. We have found so many discoveries on there, new snacks we've never tried, new brands we've never tried. We get ingredients for recipes on there, especially if they're want recipes that we make a lot. We like to stock up on there like rices, 90 second rice is something I buy on there a lot. I don't know why I randomly highlighted that, but it's just on my mind. <laughs> Anyway, if you are interested in checking out Thrive Market, finally, if you have not checked it out and you've been watching me for years and I've been working with them for years, I really, it's time. Like it's time, you will love it as much as I do. And like I said, you will easily make back your membership fees in your savings each month and then some. So if you are ready to check out Thrive Market, you can go to thrivemarket.com slash Jessica Braun. That'll get you 30% off your first order and a free gift worth up to $60. I'll have the link below. I'll have it in a pinned comment as well. Um, yeah, thank you again to Thrive Market for sponsoring this part of the video and continuing to support my channel. I appreciate it. So now I'm like, I'm not super hungry because I did eat some of those leftovers, but um, I am a little snacky. This is one of the first times I didn't get anything like sweet. Honestly, we've had a lot of baked goods that I I think I just wasn't even wanting any. Plus it's like Halloween, got Halloween candy too. So I'm like, maybe I'll eat a Reese because now I've got a sweet tooth. I feel like anytime I film a Thrive Market part, I always end up trying foods. And now I'm like, I, I'm craving it. It's like Pavlov's dogs. Well, good morning. Happy Tuesday. It is Halloween day. Um, and I'm actually going to go. This is the third week of the Bible study that uh, I started going to, if you saw in the last vlog. And it has been so wonderful. And week two, I didn't vlog or anything around that time, but week two was amazing. So very excited for the next week. Um, and I did most of my homework. <laughs> I think there was like a day I didn't get to. Just about to go, I just started a little laundry and I wanted to talk about a like system I've been using. I talk about laundry a weird amount. Okay, I know, <laughs> it's a big part of my life. <laughs> I know it's a big part of all of your lives. But I've talked about the little thing we hang in the door. I'll pop a picture on the screen here of what it looks like that we get on Amazon or we got on Amazon. And that's where we put like all of our dirty kitchen towels, dirty bibs like if we we don't often put bibs on felicity anymore but every once in a while if it's like a nice outfit those go in there like all of that kind of stuff downstairs goes in that once a week ish we take it and throw it in the washer which is what i just did but i also have oh okay well first of all here it is here's the thing it hangs on the back of the door it comes with little over the door things you can also use like 3m hooks i think it comes with but you just stick everything in there, it hangs, and then the bottom, when you're ready to dump it in the washer, you can just unzip it and it all falls in, which is just nice. I have an old, I mean, it's clean, but an old trash can that the lid to it broke, and I put this under my sink, and this is where I mentioned those makeup washcloths I use every night. Well, I, only, I use them once and put them in here, so I have enough to get through a little over a week. 
I put the dirty ones in here and then this goes in that load as well. And it's kind of nice to have a spot for it because what would happen, those like random washcloths would be like on the floor in my bathroom and this was like a daily thing. So then there'd be a second one there and then I'd finally remember to pick them up and then that night I'd have another one. So having a spot that's convenient to put things like that in has been one of those weird game changers that makes me happy every night. <laughs> and it solved one of those small daily annoyance problems. So I feel like if you've got a trouble spot in your house when it comes to laundry, whether it's kitchen towels or, you know, whatever, think through like, okay, can I have some sort of receptacle for these things so that at least it's got a spot until I'm able to wash them, whatever. So <laughs> this is what I'm here for, folks. Solving your small daily annoyances, <laughs> especially if it involves laundry. <laughs> All right, so I need to eat a little something more and then I'm gonna head out. I also need to meal plan today. Um, just for the week, generally, we need a few meals um, on deck and then I need to go to the grocery store. We have some Halloween candy but I don't know if we have enough. We don't get a crazy amount of trick-or-treaters. We'll typically leave the bowl of candy out while we're trick-or-treating, because we figure, you know, if some kid comes by and just takes all the candy, it sounds like that kid really just needed candy. <laughs> and I understand that, no. But generally, it's it's been not been an issue, and I think most of our neighbors do that, and then when we're back, we can actually hand out the candy. But sometimes we'll have um, one of our parents here. I mean, I think we've done that every once in a while, but this year we're just, just our little family, um, but yeah, the kids at school, I'm clearly just chatty. Anyways, like I'm on the phone with you. <laughs> so yeah, the kids are at school and uh, they have a costume parade today. So their costumes, I had to clean them. They did come clean, I know I mentioned. So those are in their book bags. Hopefully they come back clean enough because we'll need them like, you know, an hour and a half later to actually go trick or treating. But yeah, I'm excited. Halloween is one of those uh, just fun holidays for us that, it definitely brings back so many childhood memories and having young kids has made this holiday so much more fun than it ever was for us as just grown adults. And I think there's just fun to be had in different ways, but I think we both enjoy this fun a little more. Uh, but yeah, so trick or treating is gonna be great. Anyway, all right, fine, I'll let you go, bye. <laughs> All right, I just threw some of these in the microwave. If you have not tried these, they're at Costco is where we found them. Oh man, <laughs> they are so, like they are irresponsibly good. <laughs> so, so good. Okay, so those Ugg slipper shoes that I showed last time, I did decide to do as I outside shoes because then I bought the Costco slippers I showed on my Instagram story. I have to say, I was putting on my like taller Uggs that I've had for years and years and years. But when you have that problem with your pants where you're like, I don't know, if I tuck the pants in, do I try to pull them over? And then if the Uggs are up to here, it kind of looks weird. If you have Uggs that don't go up so high, it's really easy to cover them. I mean, it's solving a problem I've had since I was younger and I was wearing like these type of boots. So I just have to say, I'm a fan of wearing them out. <laughs> judge away. I got them on Amazon. I can link them. But I, really though, I have been loving wearing, I was grocery shopping like last week in these and I was like, oh yeah, like this, I am comfortable. And um, I keep waiting for someone to be like, oh no, did you wear your slippers out of the house? I'm like, no, they're real shoes. I swear, do you want me to show you? Well, I don't get a crazy amount of PR anymore because I took myself off a bunch of lists, but Tower 28 is one I've stayed on because I love a lot from the brand. This may be the greatest PR of all time. It's a softy. I think is the brand name, dude. <laughs> I was just thinking like, man, when I'm sick and you know, when you got the chills and stuff and you just want a blanket all over you, that's that. This is like thicker and softer than you think. Anyway, thanks Tower 28, this is amazing. Okay, I don't know why, I haven't even made this before and this is so messy. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try to make these Chipotle honey chicken tacos. They're super easy. You literally just put chicken, honey, and a few spices in the crock pot, let it cook, break up the chicken, um, like kind of shred it up and then add some black beans and lime. That's it. Put them on warm tortillas. I figure for Halloween tonight, that was something super simple. We won't have to be cooking so then we can trick or treat and not worry about it. So I've got what we need. I've got some honey, onion powder, cumin, garlic powder. I was just refilling this and kosher salt. The one thing we don't have is the chipotles and I bought them, but we ended up using them for a different recipe. So I have to go to the store today um, to get some more Halloween candy, as I said. So I might 
pick those up and just throw them in once I've got them. So we'll see. I hope these are really good because if they are, as I always say, they're so easy and that makes me very happy. I am having a um, straight hair moment. This is like the third time in the past few weeks I've straightened my hair. I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm going through something. <laughs> I would share my outfit of the day and then I was like, this was from a store near me called Meyer that I love so much. But I mean, it was years ago, A and B, I don't, I, you can't link to things there. So I love it because in the back, there's like little, well, you can't really see, little buttons. Like it's, it's just cute. Anyway, so I've loved this for years. These jeans I got um, from Nordstrom and they're like the kind that are like super stretchy. I got them during Nordstrom anniversary sale this year. So you might still be able to find them. They're really comfy. Like I said, they're really stretchy, which is always a plus. I feel like I'm just on here sharing about stretchy jeans every time, but hey, if you find something you like, <laughs> you stick with it. Okay, so I have a couple more hours before we need to get the girls. So I need to get a little bit more work done. I just finished filming a video and I need to upload that footage for my editors. And then I also need to meal plan a bit and go to the grocery store, like I said. So I'm gonna go check on the crock pot too. So a lot to get done in a few hours. I, I had <laughs> wild dreams about maybe like working out today or going on a run. <laughs> Looking at the clock, I'm like, there is absolutely no way, but that's okay. It's Halloween anyway. Rushing through, but I did get some Starbucks to power through this afternoon. All right, we're back from the store. We got some full bar things, or full size, I should say, because I think I mentioned earlier that we don't get a ton of trick or treaters. We were like, you know what? <laughs> Let's just do it. We've never done it. I'm like, dang. <laughs> what if I just like took all of those and those were just out of the equation? <laughs> and maybe a few of these. Sprinkle a little of those. These are all my faves. Oh my gosh. The only thing that could really seal the deal with these would be Twix. Twix are just like, wow. But I also got these and I was like, oh, I'll, I'll kind of like lace them around our wagon as we pull the girls around. But then I realized I'm pretty sure I have to plug this in. <laughs> so there you go. We do, however, have this one. Uh, that's battery powered. It's just blinking in the camera, but like in real life, it's not. Well, we could just take that one out. So we'll see if we have the time to do that. But this one we got on Amazon and it is an awesome one. This is the second year we've used it. Last year we used it at Disney World, like on our stroller. I guess it has a timer. I didn't know it did. And I, anyway, that's a long story, but it will cycle through different things if you want it to, like blinking and you know what I mean? All the different settings, the modes. Panok, are you excited for Halloween? Did you see the squirrels out there? I saw them. The birdie feeders are full, so the birds are back, so the squirrels are back. Yeah. Yeah. Waggly tail boy. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween, good boy. Okay, it is finished. It is very tasty. You definitely have to like that like chipotle adobo sauce flavor. I did a little bit less of it than it called for just so it wasn't quite as spicy and quite as adobo flavored, but it still has that kick to it, which is... It's the perfect amount, I think, but I kind of halved what it said. So I did like one and a half maybe of that and just a little bit of the adobo sauce. But anyway, really, really tasty. We're just gonna have this in some tortillas with some sour cream, black olives. I'm trying to think what else we have. I was gonna say cheese, but I feel like cheese isn't the move with this, but it's kind of its own filling thing. You don't need a bunch of toppings with it, I don't think. Good morning, we got the early morning early morning light peeking through our messy, unusable dining room. That is our dumping ground. So if you ever see it in the background, um, I wanna show you a quick Target haul. Well, the reason I sent, I uh, ordered this stuff anyway is because I wanted to buy one of their $5 mugs. These always sell out. I had posted on my story about it recently. They're five bucks. They have like, well, I'll pop on the screen all the different options that I saw. And like I said, they sell out. So definitely check it out. I'll link below the page with all of the mugs, but I love them. I have bought at least one in the past. It's this cute gingerbread man. They have a similar one now and it is my favorite mug. So I got the Christmas tree, so cute. Um, and then look at these matching dresses. Matching dresses can get so expensive if you were trying to do that for your kids, grandkids, whatever. These are really cute. And they're the Cat and Jack brand, which is like Target's main kids brand. So I got one for both of them. I love the green, I love this but it's comfy. This is like a sweater, like a knit material up there. So hopefully it'll be pretty comfy for them. And it's just cute. Hi, Pinocchio. And then don't, okay. I was gonna say, don't walk all over the clothes. Look at these for Genevieve. These like really cozy ribbed leggings. Um, 
they're even cozier, like softer than I expected, but hopefully will be a little bit warmer than some of the like regular leggings we currently use. Got a couple dresses for Felicity. I've been getting her 2T because I feel like generally that fits better than 18 month because she's about 19 months now. And of course, as the winter goes on, she'll fit into it better and better. But right now I feel like half the time it's a little big and I end up having to like roll up the sleeve a bit, but I don't want to get 18 month now and then she doesn't fit in it in like a month. So always the problem with kids clothes, especially at her age. Then I got Genevieve this dress. Look how cute. It's got pockets. It's like a sweatshirt material. I can't believe she's big enough. I don't know. Like she's starting to get into the girls clothes, like not toddler, but girls. So like extra small, the four or five typically fits her. I've tried to do small or like size six and that is generally too big on her, but uh, she's just growing up. So anyway, that's my target haul. No one asked for, but most importantly for this. All right. I am at the workspace. I'm kind of just working on my to-do list here in my planner figuring that out we actually have a phone conference for felicity just like they do like their assessments from time to time so we're gonna have that here in like an hour or so and felicity moves on up to the next classroom next week she's such a big girl so they've been doing like trial runs in the classroom and she's been doing pretty well uh but it's definitely a step up like watching some of the video from the class that they'll send it's it's like a, it's gonna be a challenge but it's good for a little, little tiny lissy she's so cute Anyway, um, and she seems to love it, which is very exciting because the first times we've taken her, obviously it was really hard. I've talked about that, but um, she is happy at drop off. She is happy at pickup. She's just, I think she just really likes getting to play with other kids. Um, well, I should say alongside other kids because that age doesn't really, we don't really play together. But although that's funny, her and Genevieve run and play and they've like made up games you can tell together which is so cute. Anyway, I could talk about this forever. So I'm going to wrap up this vlog because I'm literally sending this footage off to my editor, but I hope you enjoyed. Thank you again to Thrive Market for sponsoring. So if you are interested in checking out Thrive Market, you can get 30% off your first order and a free gift worth up to $60 by going to thrivemarket.com slash Jessica Braun. Thank you Thrive for supporting me and my channel. Uh, yeah, and I will see you guys in the next one. Oh, and if you want to check out more vlogs, as always, these are all on a playlist in the order I uploaded them. You know what I mean? Recent to less recent, <laughs> newest to oldest. So if you want to see if you missed one here or there, I will link the playlist. Definitely check it out. Okay. I love you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.